Um, welcome to Q&A Thursday. Lori Hollander here. Bob Hollander here as well. And we are here to answer <clears throat> your questions. Now, the question that came in this week was from a woman who said, my husband will not go to therapy. What should I do? Right. And this is a really a common one, Bob, that we get from a lot of people, and especially women. Yeah. And, and you know, men are the ones that who might not want to come in. I really feel for them because it reflects a, a challenge that a lot of people have, mostly men, mm -hmm. about uh, an arena that might not feel so safe for them. Right. And the one thing I want to say, Bob, is that, mm -hmm. you know, when the men don't want to come in, and again, we're generalizing, it's not all men, um, it's not that they don't love you, because that's what it feels like, mm -hmm. it's not that um, they don't care about the relationship, mm -hmm. uh, I've heard things like, um, I really didn't think anything was that terrible, mm -hmm. um, men are afraid, or, or generally, to be vulnerable, um, it may be very anxiety provoking. Mm -hmm. They may feel they're going to be judged. Yeah, right, um, right, and right. a lot of people don't want to come talk to strangers. It just isn't the way yeah. they were brought up. Yeah. You know, you know uh, a lot of men will say, well, we could do this ourselves. Right. Well, do it yourself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're, you're saying that because you haven't yeah. been able to. You don't have the yeah. tools. It's yeah. almost like if we have a problem, we'd go to our therapist. It's, it's a change. That, Bob? Who's that? I don't know who that is, but they would have quite we a... We need one if you know any good no, ones. No, we've been to therapy, and we know what that yeah. is. And, and uh, yeah. it, I know it seems like a stigma, less and less. But I can't tell you the number of men who come in that way and are, you know, yeah. very staunch and very... Those, it's funny, those are the, the guys that want to express their feelings. Because, right. you know, what you said before about men... Mm -hmm. I see men as having a struggle. Part of their brain is saying, I'm not going, we could do this by ourselves. And the other part saying, but I love her, you love her, we, in the same brain, we love her, and I think we need that. And there's this struggle. And maybe this one is stronger at the moment, but as you were saying, this part here must be appreciated not only by, by both partners, because mm -hmm. it does exist, and that's what we have to feed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um, what do you do? Well, we're going to give you some ideas because we've had this phone call before. Yes. And one of my thoughts is to tell the guy, um, honey, just come for one session. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you don't have to go back. Just do this for me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Is that a good approach, Bob? And it is for her. And a lot, that, that's well, a very good approach. In the beginning. Approach. Yeah, it, the beginning. It, it, but, but... And, Ultimately, it's for the relationship. Right. And even if he doesn't come, remember, there's a part of him that probably wants to come but doesn't quite know how to bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you come for a few sessions with him very differently, and that could right. be the difference. Yeah. Also, if if you come in without him, um, I've seen typically where partners get very curious the, oh, yeah, what was what that they, like? What did, what did they talk or, about? What, what did who, what is he, he or like? she therapist say? Right. The other thing, too, if you come in, it does give you some more hope. And I think that a lot of times, let's say women are feeling so hopeless, they get defensive they or they don't try. With counseling just on your, on your own, you will start to react to your husband differently, even if he doesn't come in. And that mm -hmm. could be the difference, too. Right. And so there are a couple of other thoughts about how to talk to uh, a partner about it. Right. And mm -hmm. that is um, to say, uh, you know, to tell them what the benefit is. Um, for instance, you know, if we go, um, I will feel uh, so um, encouraged about our relationship. Right, right. Things will get better. Um, you know, we'll have more sex. We can move the roadblocks out of the... Don't... You know that on some people's minds. Of course, mind. of course, um, because that is the way men connect. That's not just yeah. sexually, but yeah. emotionally. Right. Okay. But usually, if the emotional is not going too well, then the sexual parts that's, that's not true. going that too well either. Right. Although that's not always true. That's mm -hmm. not always true. Um, but talk about the benefit. Talk about that uh, therapy is not for blame. It's really for problem solving. Yeah. And, uh, you know, 
right. if you're coming to see us, have your partner watch a couple of our videos. Right. Right. And, uh, you know, a lot of times um, guys will come in and women and or gay couples and one partner's resistant. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the first session, they're like, wow. I'm glad I came. It wasn't so terrible. Right. And, um, it, it, you know, yeah. just get them to and the that, door. And that reflects the yeah. part that I think men have long been unable to do. They have all these feelings. Uh, there's no way to deal with it except fight or withdraw, the fight or flight. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to face our fears mm -hmm. for the people or the person who we love. Mm -hmm at least just for one time, because mm -hmm. I don't think that many of my guys had no idea what it was like and how supportive right. and how unstressed they felt because they finally had a mm -hmm. form to express their feelings. Mm -hmm. And Bob, let's not forget that, you know, this is not just male and female relationships. This is also gay relationships. Just, exactly. And a lot of times there's one partner that wants to come and one right, that doesn't. Right. So yeah. it's the resistant partner. Yeah. Well, we're general, generalizing here. Yeah. Well, but, but about maybe, heterosexual couples. Right. But, gay but even, couples. right. But there's always going to probably be one who's a little bit, a, a little bit hesitant about mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet the feeling is that there's a part of him, them mm -hmm. that very much wants to come in and they should at least try it to mm -hmm. see what is. Because the therapist needs both. Yes. They, and we need to see the interaction. And that's how we do the best work. Mm -hmm. Because the stories a lot of times are very different. And we try to help people right. bring them together. Right? Okay. Where they want to be. Yeah. So we're all on the same side. Okay. We send us your questions right. to info at relationshipswork.com and we'll see you next that week. That was a great question, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Get, go to it. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <coughs> All right. Here we are. <coughs> good morning, Bob. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Here. Would you uh, like a sip of coffee? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. If I cough, I'll just take some coffee. I'll say that. I got a cold. Okay. Okay, let's go. Good morning. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, oh, followers of the Hollanders. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Welcome to Q&A Thursday. It's Lori Hollander. And Bob Hollander. And we welcome you. Um, our question today, we were... Bleh. Let me try it again, okay? Yeah. Stop. Okay. Good. That was perfect. Uh, that's because I'm perfect. You're perfect. How much, how long was that? Yeah. But I, that was good. Oh, no. That was, that was, was natural. Minutes. 